Today we're building this awesome pirate island here, but I'm not going to show you what it looks like at the beginning of the video because that's cheating, so watch the video and enjoy the process. So I wanted to make an island that had like a Caribbean island vibe, something like that. So in World Painter, I'm just crafting this nice little island here. In a second here you'll see how it turns out, but I wanted to have some nice beaches and mountains and hills and places to really have a nice Caribbean environment. So after the World Painter uh, map is built, you can see here, it looks pretty nice. Uh, there's cinematics going all around the island, and um, it is missing one thing, which is trees, greenery, bushes, rocks, the whole schmack. So that's what we're going to be doing next here. You can see me making some trees and some palm trees and some bushes and shrubs that I can plop around the island just to, just to add a nice bit of foliage around the map. And for this map, I wanted to go with more of a realistic type of island. Like, I know there are a bunch of videos on YouTube already of people with these, like, giant trees and these giant fantasy-style maps uh, in their builds. I kind of wanted to steer away from that for this video. I wanted to keep it more realistic style. Now, while we are doing all this fun stuff, I'd like to give a shout-out. In my Discord server, we had a build battle recently, and the winner of the build battle was none other than Mr. Bubster. Not related to me. But Bubster won with this awesome build right here. Go join my Discord server if you want to uh, uh, participate in those build battles. It's a lot of fun. But while I was giving my spiel, you can see uh, the island is pretty much uh, all treed up and bushed up. And it looks really, really nice. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. So now we're going to go onto the island here, and we're on this sort of cliff face at the end of the island, and we're going to be building a fort for this island. And so my thoughts for this whole island is that it is like a, a British, you know, territory that they, they conquered. This is supposed to be set in like the 1700s. So right now what I'm building is sort of a fort that would kind of guard the island and, and watch the waters around the island. But yeah, so this would be a British created fort. And then um, a little bit later on, you know, the pirates came in and they conquered the fort and they conquered the island. So right now this is a pirate run island. So this fort is controlled by the pirates, uh, even though it was built by, by the British uh, who came here originally, but they got ran out because of those nasty little pirates. So that's kind of the story that I have right now for this island. I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, yeah, so you can see sort of uh, these walls going up and uh, all these fortifications, these cannons right here you can see going in. I'm pretty happy with how those turned out. But yeah, this fort is no force to be reckoned with. There are many cannons um, ready to ready to shoot any people who want to come in and challenge, uh, challenge these pirates. But yeah, so with that big fort up there done, we are coming down here. And this is supposed to be like a navy, uh, British navy short sort of shipyard slash dock. Uh, it's a little tiny dock just because, um, I guess, for the story of my island, um, you know, they just got here, so they just set this thing up, and uh, they didn't really have time to expand on it before the pirates came in and sort of uh, took everything over. So yeah, this is just a little miniature dock area where all the navy ships would, uh, would dock, and uh, I'll actually be building one of those in uh, a few minutes here, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, we got all these barrels and stuff here and all these docks all set up. But just like that, we are coming over here to this sort of town area where I'm building a, uh, a sort of, uh, I guess, a, a local town uh, with a few buildings and stuff. And uh, of course, like I said earlier, it's overrun by pirates, but the people here, they're just chilling, they're having a good old time. And uh, right now I'm just getting the layout for all the buildings here. I'll get them all built up momentarily, but I wanted to have... A good amount of buildings here because I didn't want it to be just like a tiny little town with uh, nothing really here. So uh, you can see I, I have a lot of little buildings planned out. But now as we zoom in you can see me start to add these buildings and uh, a little bit of detail here and there. I don't want to go too crazy because these are supposed to be like little shacks essentially. It's just a city of shacks because this is a pretty early on town. Um, I don't think they would have 
uh, a lot of time to build sort of more permanent structures. I build a few here, uh, as you can see going up right now. Um, there's a sort of stone and bone block building, which is uh, uh, intended to be like a permanent building, a more, uh, you know, concrete in there. Um, I don't know what it is, but um, for the story at least, I don't know what it would be. Maybe like a, a shop or something like that. But yeah, I have a few of those more permanent buildings, but for the most part, they're just a bunch of wooden shacks, like uh, like what you can see going on right now on this. buildings which uh, this is uh, supposed to be like a tavern or like a like a bar area where people could go and hang out this is like the the main place where people hang out um, that's what I envision this as you know um, even the roads around it are a little bit more permanent as you can see um, but yeah I think eventually all the buildings would look like this one but of course because it's too early on uh, just a bunch of wood shacks for now but yeah, uh, the, the wood shacks just keep going up and going up and going up all around. Uh, these red wool areas are turning into houses and stuff. And uh, after we get this all built, you'll see a cinematic of up close and we'll go through the streets and all that fun stuff. So yeah, I wanted to keep all the trees and stuff in here because I want to keep uh, keep this town, you know, it's in a jungle island. It's on a jungle island, so I wanted to keep the jungle in the city as much as I could. So that's why I left a lot of these jungle trees in here. I had to get rid of a few of them, um, but for the most part, I wanted to keep the trees in this area. to the left side of this town here getting more buildings built up nothing too crazy goes on over here just some more shacks and houses and stuff and uh, if you see that main road right there going down the middle of the of the of the town from your right to your left uh, if you look off to your left you can see the road there that's leading up into the fort that we just built uh, a few minutes ago so that gives you sort of a, an idea of where we are right now and then just a few more of those permanent buildings going up just those more main street sort of located buildings and then of course a lot more of the shacks and the shanty houses and stuff like that. And of course because this village is on the coast um, I wanted to make a few little docks and stuff that the that the people who live here can easily connect to, to to go out to fish or maybe take their little boats out and go fishing in the water. But just like that, this little town is finished and we're going to come to the back of the island to make an even tinier town. I, I don't really know what would be going on here, but I didn't want to have just one big town and uh, have nothing else on the island. So I wanted to have a tiny little town back here just to add a little bit of diversity and stuff. Like maybe this is like the... I don't know, the Fisher Village or something like that. But just to add a little bit of diversity and uh, cool stuff to the map to look at. And then over here on the side, there's this little uh, outcropping that I wanted to add a sort of a lookout post to where the pirates could maybe look out and guard the, the island because there's no fort on this side of the island. So they would have this little lookout. Now we're coming back to the main city and we're building sort of a dock area where the commercial ships would be able to come in here and dock and uh, offload all the food and you know all the all the stuff that they would need to get to the town. Uh, so this is separate from the military dock uh, which is across the bay. Um, so this is more like the, the commercial area where you know uh, like I said you can get some drop off some food and some I guess clothing and, and uh, materials to build with. So that's kind of what I had in mind for this part over here. And then in just a moment, we're going to add some ships here uh, that you'll see me build. 
and um, I think they turn out really good. So here we go, just a few tiny little ships coming in. I only have two variants of ships. Uh, this is the more like commercialized ship that I'm going to put in the uh, the commercial docks back there. Uh, as you can see, I think this is um, I think this is specifically I think it's called a sloop, um, inspired from Sea of Thieves, uh, a little bit, but also inspired from from Google images of of real of real ships. So yeah, just a little ships here, and I use World Edit to make them diagonal so they fit into the docks uh, a little bit better. And I had to fix up some holes that the World Edit uh, created. But yeah, I'm really happy with how that turns out. Um, so I just copied over and I had two ships there. And then this is the other ship that I'm building, which is more the military ship that we're going to put in the docks for the fort right behind it, you can see right there. So this is more of a larger ship, uh, obviously, than the uh, than the other sloop that I just built uh, a few seconds ago. It's going to have a lot more uh, a lot more masts, a lot more, uh, you know, areas for, I guess, cannons and stuff and all that, all that, all that fun stuff. And of course, it looks big and menacing. Uh, you don't want to mess with this ship. And for my story, I also went with the idea that this was like a British ship, but then the pirates captured it, and then, uh, you know, they own the ship now. And you'll see I add the pirate flags up at the top there, so, uh, you know, you got the skull and crossbones. Now we're coming onto the side of this mountain here, and I wanted to add sort of like a little pirate cave here, because this is a pirate island, so this could be like a, I, uh, I envisioned this as like a little hideout where the pirates would hang out, and you know, there's a bar in here, so they can drink all their rum and get drunk and uh, all that, and there's a pile of gold there for the for the pirates to, to just look at and hang out in, and um, yeah, this is just a nice little pirate cave that I envisioned, and uh, I'm really happy with how that one turns out. Now we're coming off to the side here, and we are building um, a shipwreck, um, sort of just uh, uh, sitting on the side of the coast here, and um, yeah, it's just uh, the same ship that I had before, but I just pushed it up onto the shoreline, and it looks a little, uh, little dilapidated, and uh, yeah, there's some stuff going on down there. And then finally, of course, I come up to the top of this mountain here and add a final lookout for the pirates to look out and uh, guard their seas. The very last thing that this pirate island needs is a pirate lighthouse. So I'm coming out onto this island and I'm making this nice little white lighthouse. Uh, once we get this all set up, our island is going to be pretty much finished. And uh, we'll go into some awesome cinematics here. I want to take a second here to thank my patrons. Uh, actually, I think I only have one patron, but thank you, patron slash patrons uh, on Patreon. If you want to check that out, link in the description below. Um, but thank you guys for supporting my channel, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.